The Palm Beach County Sheriff once again coming to the defense of his deputy in the deadly shooting of Seth Adams. Today, new findings released by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement in the three-month-old shooting outside the Adams family business. That as the family, for the first time, speaks out exclusively about their struggles and questions about the night they lost their son and brother. News Channel 5's Jeff Skrypek is live at the scene of the shooting in Loxahatchee Groves with a story you'll see only on 5. Jeff? Well, Jane Kelly, the family of Seth Adams says they're disappointing in the FDLE's findings surrounding the shooting of their loved one in a Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy that happened right here in this parking lot. And as the memorial for Seth Adams continues to grow, the family says so do their questions, despite the sheriff's attempts today to answer them. It's a hot August day. The sun beating down and the sound of insects crushes the air. Comfortable, but it's just the way David Adams likes it. Without the summer, his business, a one-stop garden shop, wouldn't grow. And without his brother, Seth, all of this most likely would be mere soil. Just about everything you look at has Seth's hands on it. David and Seth weren't just joined by a business. They were building a dream together. We were best friends. We were partners, you know. We were each other's everything, you know, even my whole life. A life altered the night of May 16th. It was an undescribable night, you know, just like your worst nightmare times, you know, a million. Red and blue lights stained the darkness that night, creating a scene ripped from a crime report. We get a crazy phone call that just sounded, I mean, like I said, unbelievable. So, you know, we were going off of pure adrenaline. David's brother, Seth, had been shot twice in the chest, once in the abdomen, and once in the forearm. When, when I found him, he was breathing. Nobody was around him. Nobody, you know, he was just lying there by himself. I, I saw, you know, blue lights, and I thought help was here. But it was the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, and it was one of its sergeants who had pulled the trigger. Investigators say Seth's blood alcohol level showed he was drunk when he found someone parked outside his shop. Inside the unmarked car, Sergeant Michael Custer, a 14-year PBSO veteran, was investigating a string of ATM thefts. According to PBSO, the two started arguing, escalating to a physical confrontation where deputies say Seth lunged for Custer's neck. We don't expect our deputies to be assaulted. We don't expect them to have their lives placed in jeopardy. The family, through their attorney, disputes the findings. Assuming that he had alcohol, in his system. When he ordered the sheriff to leave, the sheriff got out of his car to confront a man who was on his property and was telling an officer of the law to leave his property who did not have a warrant. David believes his brother most likely told PBSO Sergeant Michael Custer what he tells all trespassers, you can't park here. Is it possible the deputy might have said something and, you know, things just got heated like they say? No. There's no way in your mind that he would he would take something that extreme. None. David continues on, living what he calls the dream. Without the man, he says created it all. Every day. Stuff just showing up without him. All the you know, the sound of the golf cart getting up in the morning. The just the the daily grind that used to be with him all the time. But David realizes no matter what investigators uncovered. Only two people truly know what happened that night. Everybody wants to know the truth. Doesn't matter what happens, nothing's going to be able to bring him back. That's, that's what hurts the most. So nothing can fix the situation. A situation David views is broken, but he says he'll keep moving on. And when I keep trudging along, as hard as it gets, as heavy as my feet get, I'm going to keep walking forward, and you know, that's all I can do. I'm his big brother, and I'm supposed to protect him, and it just kills me that I, I, I couldn't protect him, you know? But David carries on for his brother, his partner, his best friend. Now, the family attorney representing the Seth Adams family says that he still has so many unanswered questions. He said he's going to meet with the family to decide their next move, and he says a civil lawsuit isn't out of the question. Reporting live in Loxahatchee Groves, Jeff Skrypek, WPTV News Channel 5.